In this video, I'm going to cover all kinds of ways to link to data from different tabs or worksheets or different files or sheets in Google Sheets. So let's just quickly define the difference between worksheets and tabs of so worksheets. See, these are two worksheets here, or we're going to call them tabs, whichever one you want to call them and sheet or workbook or a file would be when we have this other spreadsheet and there it is. That's a whole different file or sheet, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to show you all kinds of ways you can link between different tabs and between completely different sheets if necessary. So let's start with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new worksheet here. I'm going to call this one summary and I'll go here and create some sums for each one of these sales columns. So that's that. And here we'll do some and select the range over here. That's good enough. So I have one total here and another total here, and I'm going to move those totals to my summary tab. So I'll do people and new people. And now I need to link to this cell over here to get this total to 11 and bring that over over here. And that is age four. That's the cell right here. So to point to that cell, I'm going to go here and do equals and then start by the name of the tab. So this tab that it was supposed to come from is called people. So I'm going to type people, then exclamation sign, and then H four that should link to that worksheet. That's the name people. Then exclamation sign is the separator between the worksheet name and the range. And we have the range. So if I press enter, that should link to that number. Now, the same way if I want to link to this, which is age seven, I'm going to go here. But in this case, this tab has a space. And when you have a space in your tab name, you have to enclose the name in single quotes. So I'm going to do this new people in single quotes, then exclamation sign and then the range again, which was age seven, I'm going to press enter and that should return those two. So this is this number, this is this number. I also want to show you how we can link to an entire range of data. So maybe I want to bring over all of these numbers instead of just this one cell. So for example, all of these numbers are located from H two through H six. So to do this, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to say, new people data. And then I'm going to do equals and then the name of the tab again, because it has a space, it has to be in single quotes, exclamation sign, and then H two colon H six. So if I press enter right now, this will give me this one eleven whatever that is. So if we go back here, you'll see that it's this number over here, but I was trying to bring over all of these. So what it's doing is basically returning just the item in that row. So this is row four. And if I go back here, see, this is row four two. that's what I'm getting. But what I need is that whole column of values from here. So to get that, I will have to make sure I put this entire thing in a function array formula. And if I do this and press enter, that should bring over that whole column. So there it is. Those are the values. And I'm linking to those values here. So if you're linking to an entire range, and you want to bring over the range from the same workbook, a different tab, you have to use this array formula to do this.
when you use this array formula function, you don't necessarily have to point to a whole different tab. So if I wanted just to make a copy of these numbers over here, I could just go here and do equals. And in this case, it's gonna be B4 through B8. So that's B4 colon B8. And again, because that's a range, I have to use array formula to do this. So we can also use these pointers, like links to other tabs, inside of functions, like similar to how we did this array formula here. To do that, I'm just gonna clear all of that, and let's start over. So let's say I just want to sum all these numbers from over here, h2 through h6, and I want to sum them directly in here. So what I do, I do equal sum, and then again, I point to that tab that's called new people, and then I do an exclamation sign and then do the range. So it was H2 through H6, if I'm not mistaken, and if I press enter, that should add up to that same amount. And this way, I don't really necessarily need to do this sum here at all. I can just clear this number from here and still have my total on this tab. And now you can see this link doesn't work because we're linking to an empty cell. I mean, the link still works. We're just basically linking to an empty cell now. I'm gonna bring that back, undo that, so that's that. So usually when you do this, you don't really type this formulas here. What you do, you simply just select the data, but it's a good idea to be able to read this and understand what the syntax is, because when something goes wrong, you need to fix it and you fix it by knowing the correct syntax. I'm gonna clear this and repeat this again without having to type that in. So what I do, I type equal sign and click on this people tab and click on this number. And if you look here in the formula bar, See, it says people, exclamation sign, H4. I press enter, and that should return back to my summary sheet with this link. So the same thing here, equals, I go to new people, click on this, and see it says apostrophe, new people, apostrophe, exclamation sign, and H7. Good, that works. And finally, if I wanted to do the sum, I do equals sum, open parentheses, and this is when I'm ready to point to that range of numbers from the other tab. So I go to that other tab and select the range. And if you look right here, see it goes H true colon H6 from new people worksheet. That's great. With close parentheses, press enter. That gets us the total. And finally, if I wanted to do the same thing from people, I do equals sum, open parentheses, go to people and select the range, close parentheses and press enter. And as usual, you can see because people tab doesn't have spaces, we don't put single quotes in this case. All right, so now let's link to a completely different file or sheet in case of Google Sheets. So to be able to do this, you need to first go and grab the link for that other Worksheet. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just copy this, go back here. And to do this, you need to use a function called import range. So let's first of all, just do a sum so we can link to it. So I'm gonna do the sum of all of that. And this will be our H6 cell from people tab. So I'll go back here and say other file total and go here and do equals import range. That's the function. And the first parameter in this function is spreadsheet URL. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a quotation, in this case, double quotes, paste the link to that other worksheet and quotation again. So that's gonna be the link to the file. And then I'm gonna do comma and then you need to do 
again, where are you pointing to? So if you remember, it was H6 from people worksheet. And what do you do? You have to do it as string or text. So it needs to go in quotations again. So I'm going to do quotes, double quotes in this case, the name of the other worksheet people on the other file and then exclamation sign. And it was H six cell quotation again, close parentheses. Now when you're linking to other files, initially you have to run this and get permission to actually make this happen. So when I press enter, it will not work immediately. It's going to give me this reference error and see it gives me this. You need to connect the sheets. So you need to now allow access and then there it is. We're linking to that other worksheet and we're getting this total. Now let's say I'm going to make a duplicate here. We have another one here that's called another people. And I'm just gonna delete one of these rows. So we get a different total. And that's h five. Now, let's try to link to this. So I'm gonna go here and do that equals import range, open parentheses. And then again, I have to do a link to the other spreadsheet. So in quotes, comma, and then in quotes, again, I'm going to do worksheet name. So the worksheet name is called another people, another people, exclamation sign, and then the range is H five, close double quotes, close parentheses, press enter, and that works just fine. So notice how when I was doing this other worksheet name, I didn't actually do single quotes. So when you're using this import range function, you don't necessarily have to use those single quotes around the name of the worksheet, even though it has spaces in it. But if you do, it will still work fine. So if you do this, it will still be okay, and it will work. So that's fine. But for example, in this case, if you tried to just remove the single quotes and press enter when you're working within the same file, this will not let you do that. So I'm going to undo that. So you will have to always use the single quotes if you're linking within the same spreadsheet. But if you're using import range, this is not mandatory using the single quotes. Now the same way we can also get the sum without having the sum over here. So for example, let's actually remove this one. That's the sum from here. I'm going to go back. Now that sum is gone. I'm going to clear that and use the function sum this time to sum up all these numbers from here. So for this, we'll have to use import range function. So import range, open parentheses, and again, the link to the spreadsheet goes here, comma, and then the name of the tab, which is called people, if I'm not mistaken, exclamation sign, and then it was h2 colon h5, close parentheses, press enter. And we have our total. One thing to note here, if you're doing this for the first time, and you didn't run import range from that file already, you can not directly just do this, you will need to before you do the sum, just simply do this import range like this without doing the sum. And that will get you that allow access box. So you have to do that first before you come back and do sum to get this all summed up together. So you can also simply just bring over the data from the other file. So again, that will just go here. And instead of doing the sum, we'll just do import range. Now remember when I had to link to a range from the same workbook, I had to do that array formula. Here, when I use import range, I don't need to do that. So if I press enter right now, it will bring those numbers over like this. And as a matter of fact, we don't need to do just one column when we do this type of stuff, we could do multiple columns. So I could do this entire data from a 
2 through h5. So if I go here and do a2 through h5, you will see it brings over that entire range of data to this workbook. So one last thing I'm gonna talk about before I end this video is that when you use import range function, you don't necessarily have to do the entire link like this and get your functions so large. So what you could do, you could just use the ID. So the ID part is starting from CITIS 15. So right after this D slash, if I just remove that first part, and then going after the slash edit, so I can remove that too, and just keep that middle part, that will be the ID of that other spreadsheet, and this will also just work fine, so you can also do this. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.